scared of me this, the Latino from Florida. Give him a hand, that's so cute. All right. I love Latino, man. I grew up in the Bronx and it was all Puerto Ricans and the Puerto Rican, I know, I shouldn't say it's not politically correct, all Latinos, but I was so popular. I was so popular. Every Puerto Rican, man, they loved me. They used to run after me because they loved my body type, yeah. 32, 22, 59. That's it. They were, mira, culo grande. That's it. All right. So speaking of a Latino, I love this guy. I love this guy. Most Latinos are little. This is a big, strappy, handsome, good-looking guy. He's a hottie. I like him. I'm going to follow him home right to Mexico. No, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> well, let's bring to the stage my friend Noel Sweet Serena. Gracias. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. All right, so I give it up for Gladys, guys. Isn't she awesome? Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, my name is uh, Noel uh, Sweets Reina. The reason why they call me Sweets, you know, girls think I'm a sweetheart. You know, guys think I'm a fucking pussy. <laughs> and plus, I have the unique ability to make you think I'm gay without doing shit. I could be at a party, minding my own business. Two guys look at me from across the way. Hey, who's that over there? Oh, that's Sweets. Is he gay? Like, I don't know, look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a fag. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I can't help it. You know, I, I know, I know, you know, I give off that vibe. I know my dad was probably worried as hell, me being gay, you know, growing up, mind you. I was, you know, choir, theater, took dance classes, and I preferred drinking chocolate milk out of straws, <laughs> you know. And you know, I know he was worried as hell, but you know, so you could tell that he was really worried hearing about my first car accident. Dad, I just got rear-ended. What? <laughs> There's fluids over the pavement. My neck hurts. Don't worry, I got his information. He's going to call me later. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know, I'm doing fine now. I'm straight, though. I'm straight. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, let me ask you guys a question. Guys in the crowd, let me ask you a question. Okay. Guys in this room, raise your hand. I really don't like the applause thing. Raise your hand if you've ever fantasized or, you know, thought about having sex with your high school or college teacher. You know, okay, you fan fantasize about having sex with your college? Okay, cool, cool, okay. Out of those guys? Okay, how many of you have had sex with your high school or college teacher? Yeah. Not so much of a bitch anymore, am I? Yes, my biology teacher, ladies and gentlemen. He was awesome in college, he was awesome. Later ended up being my girlfriend, she was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. Let me give you an analogy how gorgeous she was. If you were a black guy, you would say, oh, I'd tear that ass off. <laughs> if you're a white guy, you would say, I'd rock her world. <laughs> if you're a Mexican guy like me, you'd say, oh, I'd so get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> she was really hot, I promise you. I mean, when she walked in the room, every guy turned into professional ventriloquists. You know, she walks in the room, every guy's like, oh, my God, do I fuck the shit out of her? <laughs> I was like, who? The one over there by the gay looking dude. <laughs> That's how gorgeous she was. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I know I'm, I get, I'm like a boyfriend's worst nightmare, though. You know, a lot of pretty girls like to talk to me, but they forget to mention they have a boyfriend, husband, fiance, it doesn't matter. They just forget to mention that with me. It really sucks. You know, I, I found out the hard way. It was one pretty girl I was talking to. She was really gorgeous, very sweet. She's like, oh, God, you're so funny, you know? And then later I get an email, apparently from her fiance. I was saying, hey, bro, I pretty much, you know, want you to stop talking to my finance. I was like, oh, finance. That's going to be a great relationship <laughs> right there. You could just tell right off the bat. But no, um, I'm starting to hate text messaging. Any texters out there? Big texters? Yeah, it's a big text. One? I'm starting to hate it. I'm starting to hate it because women are the reason why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you a play-by-play -play text message conversation that everybody has had, okay? Scenario simple. Guy, you're probably chilling at home, minding your own business, right? Girl out and about with her friends, eating lunch, okay? This is a text message. Here we go. First one's from the girl. It's like, hey, what's up? Guy responds, nothing. How was your day? Good. What are you doing later? Nothing. <laughs> Well, text me if you're going to do anything. Okay. Here's the kicker. Why do you sound sad? Sound sad? Sound sad? What the? 
I'm not sad. Listen, you can tell me what's wrong. I'm not sad. I'm just sitting here minding my own business. Well, if you're going to be all mean to me, why don't you text me back when you've cooled down? <laughs> and I'm sure I speak for every guy in this room when I say, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Seriously, I realized something. It's just like, guys, we don't like to talk, ladies. We don't like to talk. I can have a complete conversation with a guy, and we won't say shit. All right, it's all hand signals. I can go against this guy right here. He's going to know exactly what to do. Watch this. It's like, okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, see? I just found out he's a Libra. Whole conversation right there, ladies and gentlemen. But no, I'm not really much into you know, the texting. The only thing that's really fascinated me, you guys ever heard of uh, that KGB 542-542? You text any question you want, and my, uh, automatically you get a question, uh, your answer you know, from your, any question. Any question you want. You know, and I'm, I just realized I'd use that a lot if it didn't cost money. You know, so I'm saving up just to ask two questions. Um, I'm going to ask, um, first of all, how do you make a homemade explosive? And two, where does Sarah Palin live? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just hate that bitch so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I got a little bit more time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this, this joke, my favorite joke to tell of all time. Um, I really like gentlemen's establishments, AKA strip clubs, titty bars, where you see sweater puppets, you know, anything. Give it up for the strip clubs. You guys like strip clubs? Oh, they're awesome. Oh. It's good stuff. You know, uh, the last time I went, now mind you, being a comic, I really don't have time to go in the evening, so I go to, during the day, you know, when the B-team strippers are going. You guys want to be the B-team strippers, the one they're not too proud of, the ones that dance during the buffet hours. You know, as, and right off the bat on the cash register, it says no refunds. A stereotypical DJ, you can't understand a damn word he says until he announces the stripper's name, you know? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Tip the waist guy, put the plenty of going to give a state, everybody give for the next dancer, everybody give for candy. <laughs> And the only reason why she's named Candy is because she's fucking diabetic. <laughs> and she starts doing a little dance, you know, how some of the talented ones that climb to the top, she's having difficulty getting up there. She's like, eh, 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 shit. No, I got, uh, 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 uh. She finally gets to the top, but doesn't look sexy at all. She looks like a victim of a flash flood holding onto a tree for dear life. You know, it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I'm looking at her, dude, that's not even a B-team stripper. That's like a C-team stripper, because all I see are C-sections. <laughs> I love doing that. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Yeah, stay away from those girls that wear the corsets, guys. It's like unwrapping a present in Christmas and finding out it sucks. You know? But anyways, my name is Noel.